more. They bring the lead it all, talk to you no more. But one thing about the Holy Ghost, he don't change. And even when he don't hear from me, when I talk to him, he affirms me and says, it's so good to hear from you. Anybody thank God for the Holy Ghost? Look at somebody and say, thank God for the Holy Ghost.
Does that make sense now? When the love of God is shed upon your heart, He gonna teach you how to treat people. And you can't deal with every situation the same. He will, she will show you how to handle certain people, certain situations. You <laughs> join the work this morning, thank you. Amen. I heard you were quiet last week, though. Amen. 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 If you're not expressing love, amen. If you are giving the love, then if you're not feeling love, I'm going to put on my heart to the church. If you're not feeling love or giving love on your side, there's a disconnect somewhere. Right? You need to ask the Lord. Leave your hands in this room and say, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Help me. Help me. With my love walk. With my love walk. How many people know when the love of God hits your life, gossip is going to cease? Right. The people he called you to reach. So as I'm ministering to you today, I'm looking at your life concerning your career. And the Spirit of God said, I'm about to set you up in a stable place. You're not going to have to worry about this bill and that bill and that money. That money, but the Spirit of God said, I brought you here today that I might let you know that my plan for you is good. You are in the valley of decisions and you are asking God which way to go, which direction to turn. What am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to be? But the Spirit of God said, I'm placing you in a sure place. Not only that, God's giving you a miracle in your body. There's some things been going on in your female organs of your body. But the Spirit of God said, I'm healing that today. And you will see that the shining you went through as a little girl. Because of some things that took place in your life. God is healing you from that broken place. And God told me to tell you, I'm delivering you from the strongholds of the enemy. And I'm declaring unto you that no cancer, no disease, no sickness, no infirmity will ever live in your body. By the power of God, and nothing shall destroy you. Come on, give me a hand. Go ahead and be right. Say your name. Shut your ass up. I'm going to pray for y'all. Okay? And the Spirit of God will have me to say to y'all that He's about to set you up and put you in a, a sure place. He's going to take the strength out of struggle. And you will not be worried about how we're going to handle this and how we're going to handle that. But God's going to set you up and he's going to establish you. And I want to minister to you by the spirit of grace. And I want to talk to you about some things that came to you from your father. All right? Give me by the spirit of God. Good heart you got. Do anything for anybody. Fight for anybody that you love. But sometimes your loyalty to people has been your detriment. And even at times when you know that you should move on or you know that they have not good intentions because you don't want to walk away from people like people have walked away from you. You've been the kind of person to stand there. But the Spirit of God told me to tell you, there is a father in you that's not just going to be a great father naturally, but there's a God man that's getting ready to come out of you. And a spirit of boldness and a spirit of prayer that's going to come on you. For I'm looking at you in the spirit realm and I see you as a little boy. All you ever wanted was to be affirmed by daddy. So the spirit of God told me to tell you that everything that you did not receive, you're going to be that to your children. And the spirit of God told me to tell you that my favor is going to rest upon you. The Lord told me to tell you as I minister to you right now that there's even some things 
that may attempt to come against you, even at the place of your job. But the Spirit of God told me to tell you, don't worry about nothing. I'm going to set you up. I'm going to establish you. And from this day forward, you will never be the same again. The Holy Ghost is getting ready to invade your life in a capacity that you've never seen before. A sign beyond you, what I tell you is the Lord, there's a pain that hits you in your back. Jesus. Yes. I need y'all shout for 30 seconds. Shout. 